system has Emmanuel with us as El. Emmanuel means with us is, and then El, the Almighty God. Let me show it to you one time. This is Christmas. We should look at the definition of Easter. Okay, I want to show you one time in the scriptures real quick. Before you see the name Emmanuel, I want to show you the name El. So you understand, El is the Almighty God. Watch. How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground, which did its weaken the nations? For thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars. The word stars means as round or shining, figuratively a prince. So he's talking about exalting his throne above the stars of God. Look at the word God here. So this is Lucifer trying to take over. I will <clears throat> Just a couple of testimonies. It's only a week clip. I'm having my dinner. Okay, one, I had a vision of the earth. It was like the Catholic and the royal family. You can go, I, I'm not going to tell you the name of it because I had to Google it. It's that ball that they hold that has a cross on the top of it. Okay? That's what I saw. Then it turned into a Messiah figure. And it ascended. This is the scripture. To confirm what I saw in a vision. It ascended up. It was the Antichrist. It was dressed as our Messiah. I will say it was... Um, Wearing a white, a, a red, so what am I saying? A red um, belt thing. Red. So <clears throat> I don't know if that's important as yet. So it was ascending. Now, I'm not sure if I missed this bit, but before I get to the final point. So Cleck talks about the Holy Grail. I'm not sure if it's before this or not. All right, folks. <laughs> so let's see. Here we go. This is part two. Like in these movies, these movies, if you drink from the Holy Grail, then you'll have eternal life. It is true. If you drink from that cup that is Christ, you will have eternal life. And, but it's not a, it's not some chalice. It's not the cup that was at the Last Supper. It's a spiritual rebirth and renovation because El, the Almighty God, came into the system as Emmanuel with us as El. Iman <clears throat> so the Lord has shown me that in a, a dream. I've shared it. So I'm lined up. I'm not lined up. I see people lined up. They're on this sort of higher ground. It's like, um, reminds me of car racing. We used to go to really dry paddocks, sheep paddocks, uh, outside of Canterbury, um, called Woodford Glen, to car racing, and all the cars would park. And there would be like a shed with one of those little walk-through roller roller sort of bars you know that yeah like if you went to a concert you got to push through those bars well basically it was that pitch that picture that uh landscape and all these people were lined up and i i could see the end of them and um i looked at them and the man at the end he noticed me the end of the line and uh then i saw below them just below you know three or four feet down a bit of a bank and then it leveled out was a, a track like a trek it was just worn out grass and in the dream I, I started to take that track and I could see what was at the end of it it was a very long container like a shipping container except it was sort of made with ply and hoardings and there were two gates two doors one door everyone was lined up and the other door there was no one lined up so I started taking that track and the man at the end of the line said don't go down there there's a giant well I continued I got to the gate and I just walked in 
and I startled a giant, a sleeping giant. He was just sitting. And he woke up and he threw me out like he was big. But I got up and one thing I will tell you is when I was in there, I looked at him and then I looked to the right and there was a giant at the other door where everyone was lined up so they were wrong. And it was just devouring them as they walked through that door. It's a powerful dream. The reason I'm bringing up is when I got thrown out, something appeared in my hand. It was like a video game. It was just, poof, I had what they, you know the video game where you get these things? I don't play videos. It's not even in my, it's not, it doesn't factor in my life, my consciousness, nothing. It wouldn't have come up in a dream in a million years. If this was, my dreams aren't normal. They're from God. He said that. So this cup appears. I, I was thinking, was it a gold cup or a gold chain? But I know it's a cup. And I, the Lord confirmed that. Sometimes it's hard to remember. But it was a cup. And how the Lord confirmed it was a few months back. It was like the Holy Grail. And now Colette's bringing it up. It's not a literal cup. It's not a literal cup. Now I understand it. I walked in there and I threw it at him and that was it. It was over, just like David. Basically the Lord said, like I slew the wolf, I slew the bear, I slew the lion and I went and slew the giant. It's the same as the chariot and the angel getting off with the scorpion tail, pulling this big spear with a scorpion tail out of its back throwing it into a quiver in the most radiant, elegant, athletic way, I must say. Gorgeous, gorgeous angel, presenting it to me, right under my nose, on his knees, on one knee. It's the same thing. The Lord has shown me beyond doubt that I'm an overcomer. I believe him. And probably the person I've just rebuked will be watching this if they listen, but... You know, I'm holding out for my Christmas testimony. I'm holding out. I want to get it right. It's, it's fantastic. It's getting better and better every hour. But um, I'm going to watch all the click. But, yeah, there's these Christians who send me links. They're freedom fighters. They're freedom fighters. The Lord won't be with them. He can't be with them. Because just something Clack said from the scripture about who ours answers it. So there is a song too back that is How great thou art How great thou art so the problem with uh, you freedom fighters is you don't believe it. And the Lord is going to call you out. He is going to call you out. And the Lord's reminded me of that link. I linked it. I'll link it again. But you'll see. Actually, just it's that song. It's that song. I'll, I'll, link, I'll link the upload. And it says... Please watch the links. There's two links. Both links use the word, that time is now. But it didn't come from the Lord. It comes in the name of the Lord. But it's not him. Just like all those ones lined up, trying to avoid the giant. Trying to save their lives. Those who lose their lives will save it. Have you weighed up the cost? So... One of those links is from that man, Hal. I've never heard of him. Someone linked it to me. I tried to find out if he's a Christian or not, but basically, it's all about the militia and we, the people, taking over if Trump doesn't do what he's supposed to do as Cyrus, as their chief and commander.
their chief and commander. That is what they call him. It's bullshit. He is not. He has never been. We are called to be in this world, but not of this world. We've got it wrong. We've got it wrong, folks, the whole time. We've all lacked faith. We've all needed to repent. The only difference is that God just called me out, you know. I mean, he knows what he's doing. He gave me the opportunity. He he pushed me into his corner and he kicked me out of my comfort zone. He, he unfeathered the nest so that I flew. I'm just flying first. There's more to fly, but you still have to go through this. You have to hear this. Hear it in love. It's from the Lord. Trump's not your chief and commander. If he's your chief and commander, then you're following the Antichrist because he's he's the, he's the decoy duck. He's Biff. He's backstage. He's the Antichrist. He's the Scorpion King. He's Janus. He's doubled down. And his middle petition is the Scorpion King. Not the Christ here that that we hear tick talking about. Not the Christ. Not the Lord God, our the Word. So have a wee look at the meaning of Emmanuel. Anu means what this is, and then El, the Almighty God. Let me show it to you one time. This is Christmas. We should look at the definition at least one. Okay, I want to show you one time in the scriptures real quick. Before you see the name Emmanuel, I want to show you the name El. So you understand El is the Almighty God. Watch. How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground, which did its weaken the nations? For thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars. The word stars means as round or shining, figuratively a prince. So, we are stars, we are angels, and Lucifer is above you. He has exalted himself above you, and you've let him do it. Come out of Babylon. So he's talking about exalting his throne above the stars of God. Look at the word God here. So this is Lucifer trying to take over. I will exalt my my throne above the, the stars, the princes of El. See El? Hebrew word 410. See, he trapped you. And now he's exalted himself above you. He's in a host body form. He's Trump. He's Obama. He's anyone you serve. He's your own household. Trust only God. It's E-L, and it means the mighty, especially the almighty. And the root of the word is Hebrew word, um... 352, Ayil, it means a chief politically. So he is the Lord God. He is the chief politically. So that's why I posted this. Is Trump the chief politically or is the Lord God? He is, the Lord wants a people who will worship him in spirit and in truth. So you need to do business. It's business time. And don't bypass that song, How Great Thou Art. The Lord is putting out a challenge now. Can you sing that in spirit and truth, or are you a liar? Are you a son of perdition? Are you a spawn of Satan? Are you not turned up, or are you turned up? Because the Lord God can pick a liar, and he knows your heart, and he knows a false church and he's showing his angels the false church and he's coming in vengeance just as Clex says and the time from all the signs I'm seeing is now 